More than a thousand people bid a final farewell to Archbishop Robert Sanchez in Santa Fe this morning. Sanchez's reign as the head of New Mexico's largest Catholic diocese ended in scandal two decades ago. That past has not been forgotten, but today many celebrated Sanchez's legacy as the country's first Hispanic Archbishop. News 13's Alex Goldsmith attended the ceremony and is here now with more. Diane, New Mexicans from across the state packed St. Francis Cathedral to capacity as people remembered a very human holy man. Sacred sounds in and around St. Francis Cathedral as a procession of priests and bishops from across the Southwest opened Thursday's funeral mass. Sanchez's two brothers, Rosier and Julius, covered the Archbishop's casket for the final time, the end of a life that started in 1934 in Socorro. We, you called him Bobby. <laughs> Francis Casas grew up with him in Socorro and drove to Santa Fe with her husband for the funeral. We're very proud of him. He, he is one of, like I said, our family. He, he had many talents, and uh, there's a lot of people in Socorro that send their love. Many at today's ceremony say Sanchez's 19 years as Archbishop of Santa Fe were remarkable. In many ways, he really brought the diverse aspects of this state together as no single human being had done for a very, very long time. There's a legacy of, of, of outreach to Hispanic uh, people, to Native American people in New Mexico. This funeral will finally put an end to another 19 years, years of seclusion. After Sanchez's affairs with several women forced him to resign in 1993, the church exiled him from New Mexico. He spent time on a farm in Minnesota, worked with Hispanic Catholics in Alaska, and in recent years served at Franciscan missions in Arizona. A few years ago, when his health began to fail, he returned quietly to Albuquerque. He died here last Friday at age 77. You are now home in your cathedral. Welcome home. Following the Mass, Archbishop Sanchez's body was interred in the crypt underneath St. Francis Cathedral in a private ceremony. Back to you, Diane. All right, thank you, Alex. The last funeral for an Archbishop of Santa Fe happened 24 years ago.